obviously we lost a lot of production with Sean Dykes, and so it's sort of a, a four-way competition, and, and really each day they're measured. You know, today we're, we're excited in a sense that we had a lot of situational things come up naturally in the scrimmage, and so you get a chance to, to measure it out here in the Liberty Bowl, being on the sideline, making it as realistic as possible. So we're looking for physicality and production from that position. And with that competition, I guess kind of if you could break it down, because obviously we know some guys got some reps and we know some guys are new. What is that competition kind of looking like at this point for you as far as it being four-way? We've had Caden Priestcorn, who backed up Sean last year, and Johnny Hassel also played quite a bit, and then Drew Martin, and then Anthony, Anthony Lansphere, the uh, transfer from California Junior College is, is here. So it's sort of that four-way competition right now. So I think it gives us a little bit of a dynamic. Can you do, and again, how good can we be? Is it one tight end, two tight ends, no tight ends? You know, it just depends on what Coach Cramsey wants as far as personnel. And with Anthony coming in, how does he kind of adjust at just getting used to this offense and the system? It, even the comment, he said, we're, we're going to Liberty Bowl. You know, you don't think of things like that where, hey, this is his first opportunity in the stadium to play. Uh, really is put in the work as far as mentally trying to learn. It's a process. You know, it's, it's one practice at a time, one day at a time. And we'll see again, you still have another three months before the season. And so you just want to see each one of the tight ends take strides every single day. And with Kate and Drew, they've been here for a while. So it's kind of easy leaning on maybe them and John's experience to kind of, you know, help either help him along, but also help themselves. To a bigger role. It really is. You guys that have been in it, it's just really fine-tuning technique. They understand system, scheme, where to go. Now it's physically how do we do it. And really appreciate the room as far as how they work together, train together, and really teach each other. And, and I guess with, 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 with Sean getting so much attention last year, I guess, how do you get these guys ready for that bigger role? How do you kind of prepare them to say, okay, you're going to have to step up a little bit more? I, I feel like there's a real understanding of that. That's a, that's a position of, of need in this offense, in this structure, and so guys have to step up and be ready to make plays. And then I guess with, um, <clears throat> with you as a coach, I guess getting used to Coach Ramsey's offense, how is it for you as a coach when somebody brings in their tweets to a system, how do you try to mesh in with that as a coach where, you know, obviously the players have to adjust, but how is it for you? You know, every year's great as a coach as far as from a learning aspect of different schemes, moving down here and getting with that system. You know, it's very similar system. Everyone's always going to bring their own wrinkles, and Coach Cramsey's done that. And we, I think we've worked well together as an offensive staff, you know, putting our input from the past years and him bringing his input from his experience, and it's really been a smooth transition. You mentioned physicality. Um, I think I saw Anthony kind of a bigger, bigger guy. Is it, is it easy for those guys to kind of, you know, Want to be physical, or is Anthony kind of have to learn that with Caden and Hassel and, and uh, Drew a little bit? Well, I think the reality of football is is physicality, and so especially at that position when you're in the core blocking and in the defensive bodies that you have to, you know, win against. You got to have length and you got to have power.